I'm recording. It's a new day, a new dollar We're for Daisy. Recording. I'm behind him still. I'm behind him. Let's go. Oh, oh my whoa. gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, that was insane. Hello, and welcome to episode number three. Episode number three of what, dude? Of mm. Tea Time with H and D. Tea Time with H and D. It's tea time with H and D. Yeah, like the Taylor Swift song. What Taylor Swift song is that? Anti-hero. I've been bopping to it a lot lately. Anti-hero? Yes. Yeah, I have been too. <laughs> uh, Not necessarily by forced? choice. <laughs> forced bops. Forced bops. Listen, but I have my headphones, so, you know, we make it work. Yeah. But there's nothing like bopping to a Taylor Swift song in your car, you know what I mean? No, no I, I kind of do. I kind of do know what you mean. And uh, uh, I may, it might be difficult to admit, but I, I've been vibing with some of those songs. There's, some, mm-hmm. there's been some good melodies. Vibing. Some good, I see. A couple of lyrics that I might have related to a few times. Mm-hmm. You know. A relaxing vibe. But that's not why we're here. We're not here to talk Taylor Swift. Sorry, Swifties. Okay. Whoa, that has a different connotation on World of Warcraft. Oh my gosh, it does. I love <laughs> it. Back to WoW, Swifties. <laughs> We're here to talk about love in Warcraft, Hannah. Wow. We might have oh. a little bit of experience in this department, wouldn't you say? Oh my gosh, just a little. Just little. a little bit. Just a little bit. You know what I just remembered? That mm. super cringy clip that we had of ourselves getting recorded at Blizzard in oh Ice my Crown. Gosh. Where we talked about I know falling in Wait, love and wow. Me, like holding the yeah, I was holding uh, Ash oh Bringer. Oh my gosh, and I didn't wear what I wanted to wear, and Here, my hair was. Before you up. say anything else, I'm gonna play the clip now before you go crazy. My favorite memory from playing World of Warcraft all these years is definitely uh, probably meeting you. I'd say I'd probably have to rank that pretty high. All the way back in Burning Crusade, I was playing uh, twos with your brother, and then uh, I found out he had a holy paladin sister and. Uh, yeah, we had something in common. We just kicked it off from there. Yeah, we were bubble buddies. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we were bubble buddies. And then, uh, I don't even know, years and expansions later, we finally met in person. Oh, it was Mr. Pandaria just came out. You flew out here to meet me for the first time. And then uh, the rest is history. You moved in. And now we're on uh, Battle for Azeroth, and we're still together. <laughs> I tell time with expansions. With expansions, yep. <laughs> Welcome back. Nice. Really cringy clip. Edited. Thanks for watching it. Uh, but yeah, so TLDR, we've met in World of Warcraft. We played World of Warcraft together and fell in love in World of Warcraft. And for years and years and years and years and years of our lives, that's been like kind of a taboo fact. Apologies if you hear any weed whack in the background. It's California. There's a lawnmower every 45 inches in worry. suburbia. We're in a drought. <laughs> well, don't worry, we're in a drought as we continue to <laughs> like pipe what? water into these like desert backyards. Anyway, wow. We love. met in World of Warcraft. We fell in love in World of Warcraft. We were embarrassed to say this for the <laughs> longest time. We did make a Reddit post 10 years ago now that talks about how I proposed to you. Yeah, dude. Which actually popped off. I'll have a link to that in the information below, which is pretty crazy. But. Uh, love online has become less and less taboo because mm-hmm. of apps like Tinder. Basically, everyone's trying to find love online. If you're trying to look for love right now, uh, you're probably trying to take advantage of one of those millions of apps. And but so, a decade ago, it was not as common. No, I, 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 I was. Saying you met a boy on Wow ten years ago. Oh my gosh. Especially coming from your family. <laughs> coming from my family. <laughs> but like even your brothers. You were like a girl. Oh yeah. She's not real. Every know? time, uh, yeah, they would joke. They they would they would always you know want me to be as safe as possible. And they heard that their you know little brother met a person like, on the don't internet. Get catfish, bro. <laughs> and like early, yeah, he's like they're worried about catfishes. Of course, I'm like an innocent little kid. <laughs> um, but crazy. And you know, I was reading some of those comments too. Uh, from all those years ago where like oh man people you know getting married at 19 and stuff like that and you know Looking back. I don't disagree with them. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> Like I if I saw a post of someone said yeah, I'm getting married at 19 now I'd probably be like you should probably chill out slow down a little bit and uh, just so you guys know we did uh, oh, We made that post 10 years ago where I Proposed but we didn't necessarily get married for many years. Yeah, it was like the longest engagement ever because like we wanted to get married for 
what we wanted, you know? Yeah, I think that when I proposed to you... It was like, yes, later, sure. <laughs> no, I think when I proposed to you, we definitely felt like there was some external pressure from nice. your family in particular that, to get married. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, I can speak from experience that uh, I felt a lot of pressure to do that. I got a hold of, like, my grandmother's ring... Uh, my great 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 grandfather's ring that he got in some poker game has some extravagant story attached to it got it in a setting that would fix fit your hand yeah uh and proposed to you i'm working at target we got a 400 square foot apartment we're just making ends meet yeah, and i'm like let's jump into this face head first just the freedom of being able to have financial freedom and and to get away with my my World of Warcraft princess was just like <laughs> get away. It, it was my end goal at the time, of course. And now, I mean, sixteen year old David, if he knew where thirty year old David was right now, he would be stoked. Yeah, same with fifteen year old Hannah. Although she, you know, she was a little messed up in the head. <laughs> We're all a little messed thing. up in the head. So I'm really glad. No, but. Uh, little Hannah is happy for Big Hannah, for sure. Hmm. So, what advice can we give to other people who are, you know, finding love within Azeroth? And I know that sounds like a cringy thing, like <laughs> going to World of Warcraft for love. And I don't think you do, but I do think you find friends in World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's the best way to find love. That's, you know, speed, speed, uh, speed playing to my advice, <laughs> to which point. is... Uh, you know, make friends. I was watching Myth yesterday, and he actually explained this phenomenon perfectly. Mm. He's like, someone in his chat popped up and says, "Yo, there's this dude, there's this girl that I want to oh DM." My gosh, okay, no you know what I'm talking I know about. What you're talking about. There's this girl that I want to DM, and Myth says, "All right, dude, uh, why do you like her? Yeah. Like, tell tell me about her." What, what and she's like, "Oh, I don't know her yet. I haven't met her yet. I just I think she's cute." Oh my god. And goodness. he's like, "Dude, you're horny. Go jerk yeah. off." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that sounds like a you thing. You don't even, yeah. Like, infatuation's a real thing. Um, and we definitely were in a phase of infatuation. And we just so happened to be lucky enough to find a lot of fulfillment with each other and a lot of uh, camaraderie with each other and friendship with each other. I think that we were best friends before we were in a relationship. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Like you said i'm me she's my diary or whatever like that <laughs> okay you're gonna have to br you have to tell the story you uh, can't just drop I that i just remember you when early on and when we were just friends or whatever but we were like obviously kind of like sharing a lot of things with each other and being there for each other and i think you mentioned something to my older brother at the time that you played wow with too that i was like your diary <laughs> or no you were like my diary because I right. talked to you so much about stuff yeah. and my l older brother wouldn't stop giving me shit for that and then I felt embarrassed and yeah. yeah well I think a part of me at the time wanted to be open about our relationship with your brother yeah and that was like a way that I could do that but also I felt guilty that I wasn't being like because I knew your brother yeah and uh, in he... World of Warcraft uh, I, we played again with each other all the time, and then I found out that you would often play on his account. Yeah. And then I realized I was friends with two people. <laughs> I was exploring the world, I was grinding, I was and doing arena, I was mm -hmm. getting gold with two, pe two different people, and developing relationships with two different people. And as we got onto voice comms, mm -hmm. uh, this became much more relevant, we became closer, me and your brother became closer, me and you became closer, all as like a group of friends, including your, your younger brothers and some of my yeah. friends. We had the ventrilo group, a wow group of people that was just kind of all vibing together, and we had a lot of fun, and then eventually, uh, we would develop feelings yeah, for each other. Yeah, you and me would just talk. Right. Like, after, quote-unquote, after hours, whatever. Yeah. What, during that time, though, I would say that I was, like, well aware that you were a girl. But I also found a lot of comfort in hanging around you. Yeah. Like, I felt like I, had, I got a lot of uh, friendship fulfillment. Because in school... I had a lot of friends, but I think I put on a persona in, in school that wasn't me. Mm -hmm. And so whenever people wanted to like hang out and stuff like that, I always felt like pressured to be this person I wasn't. Yeah. And I think that definitely happened a bit more because I moved so much. I could reset my persona. I'm like, this time I think I'm going to be Batman. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's me, Batman. 
<laughs> you move a lot as a kid and you go to a whole bunch of different schools and make new friends over and over. Uh, uh, you know, you learn some stuff about uh, making friends and developing relationships and, and how to present yourself in a, mu a multitude of different situations. But what I think it caused me to do is be like, uh, not authentic with myself with the public but I was authentic with you mm. and you liked me for it so first thing how to find love and wow be yourself be authentic right I feel like that's yeah. what we did be, be yourself be authentic uh, and, and, ha and have fun with people you know mm. if, if you there's, always made me laugh <laughs> yeah <laughs> I always make you laugh yeah you always made me laugh and you still make me laugh and that was mm. And you would always, you would always come with a lot of energy. Like we would be in random battlegrounds, and you would always kind of like, you every hammer of wrath that you threw to get the last killing blow, you would like get shit on. I like was you, a <laughs> theater kid inside me. You know? Yeah, I needed to like role play. That's you know that was the fun of the game. Yeah, we, we were competitive with it. We loved noob stomping. <laughs> yes. Looking I back, like, like talking to noobs. We, like we thoroughly enjoyed an eye of the storm that like pushed them to their spawn and just had all of the range on the edge teeing off to anyone who got too close like we enjoyed that <laughs> why i don't know do you remember this yeah. i remember like me and desify and you would just be like sitting there camping them in their graveyard and we would think we were so cool why is camping graveyard so fun also why is it we, we were doing pre-made bgs before rated BGs was the thing. Oh, yeah. So we were just facing randoms and crushing them. We were mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's why everyone hated world PVPers or whatever, right? I don't know. World P everyone just hated PVPers in general because we were just natural griefers, in my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, I think the moral of the story is, and if you get anything about this video because you genuinely clicked on it because you wanted to find love in Warcraft, I think it's this. It's go and have fun and make friends with people. Um, and love is one of those things that happens when a lot of those variables, the coincidental variables of like attraction and um, compatibility. Love is a verb. It's a verb. It's something you do constantly. You right. choose to do. Right. Right. And I think a healthy way to go about cho who to choose, mm -hmm. who to who to invest that verb into, is uh, um, someone that you can be around every day yeah. someone who yeah yeah so yeah and, and I, yeah so best of luck to you on your adventures in azeroth and uh in love <laughs> and make sure to hit that subscribe button for the next episode of tea time with h and d it's just a little podcast that we're putting together as we continue our world of warcraft adventure right now we're doing 2v2 wrath of the lich king arena uh, but maybe next time we might be in Dragonflight. Probably not, because that's in November, Soon late November. Can. Can. So, this is basically our trajectory: Wrath of the Lich King <laughs> Arena until Dragonflight. Then on the 15th we're gonna level Invokers, and then on the 28th we're gonna play Dragonflight and level and experience it and react live. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yeah. So the 20. Uh, 8th, the 29th, and the 30th will be streaming Dragonflight. So make sure to subscribe, or not subscribe, but just follow the Twitch channel, which is also found in the description, twitch.tv slash dmachine underscore. Yeah. Yeah. And that's everything. Any final words about love and Warcraft, Hannah? Uh, love yourself, love other people, peace. Yeah, peace. <laughs>